What's up, everybody? We're just about to try to change out this fuel injector. Been having some trouble with some blow by. So, this is a symptom of what we got going on here. Okay. It blows past our. Starts throwing multiple codes. What's up, guys? I'm just here. I'm working on my 2014 N63 TU BMW 550i drive. Had like a big time fuel leak when I bought it, and looking around, I found out that I think the fuel injector seat bore has been ovaled out. So, what I'm going to do today is try to go ahead and make a little temporary fix and see if that'll get the car running for. There's a PPI tool that you can actually bore this out and uh, drill and tap it and put a whole new seat in there. But I'm going to try this out first to see if I can get the car running and to make sure there's nothing else wrong with it. Here's a couple parts I got. I have, we're going to use one of these washers to go on the fuel injector. I bought these. These are called hydrogenated nitrile butadiene rubber construction. It says withstands wider temperature variations and resists chemicals. So, I was going to try to substitute this for our good old Teflon ring because those just blow off immediately as soon as I put them in this motor. And I also got a couple little seats to try to put on the decoupler ring. Now, I'm not really sure right now, but that may screw up the ground of the injector if I do that, but we'll find out. I think it'll ground out through the copper anyway, so this could help it seal up a little better. Here you can see that that, uh, you know, that's where the Teflon tape's supposed to seat. It's not looking very good. So it's kind of ovaled out, you know. So anyway, I'm trying to find something that I can stick in here that will seal up more better. It looks like pretty much get a little washer that goes right between there as long as it's smaller okay so I've got a two of these little washers 1564s 38s 564s this is those little guys I've got one of those on there and I even put one of those in there Give us a little extra space. Now I already did a test run with these little green things and man, that, that scores are in nice and tight. So I also applied some of this PTFE stuff. Withstands high pressure, wider temperature range. Anyway, threaded plastic and metal pipe. Just thought I'd give this pipe dope a try because everybody kind of recommends that Teflon tape, but we'll try it out. I got it to sit in there. Um, I wanted to show you that it's Pretty dang tight. The thing was flipping all over when I first pulled it out. This one wiggles just barely. But now this one's looking pretty good. So feeling nice about that. I don't know, it's an aftermarket one. It's got messed up sides. As another precaution, I took my hold down and just barely bent the tip of that with a couple of pliers. So we'll see if that helps. Got this all installed. So now we're gonna fire her up. I do wanna leave my air box off just so I can see if it's doing anything weird. I started leaving this just barely open right when I turned on so it can squirt out any air. So I think one time I had air bubbles in there. I could hear the pump catch up, so it should be good. All right. Clear the codes and start it up. Ah, uh, the dreaded check engine light. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, that's what we're gonna fix today. I just use this auto fix code reader. Oh yeah. I had a bunch of codes going on yesterday. The fuel pump doing stuff down in there. Okay, soon. Well, I cleared the codes and started up again, and 
put the mass airflow sensor on and now it's working pretty good. It threw like all these misfires.